Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, Carplants. Uh, I'm doing a contract here on Guild One for old Bill, <coughs> um, and as nice as his new planter is, his little tractor, his 515C, is uh, underpowered, shall we say? And this has taken longer than I thought it was going to. Uh, I just can't get enough traction on the uh, on the back end of this. Um, the horsepower requirement is fine, but Bill needs to upgrade his tractor, I think. <laughs> Excuse me. So there we go. So, last episode... Let's get these lights off a bit. Get that on up. Last episode, I... Uh, I... We... Uh, we... Uh, <coughs> did a harvesting contract on this field and now we're into November and uh, there's a planting contract so I've done that one as well hence the money is up to 3432 this is old Bill's farm now I know the, the setup it says is to delete all of this well I didn't I'm not going to buy this plot I'm not going to make use of any of this um I'm literally just going to simulate the old Bill. He's got an old farm. Up here. And every so often, he needs a bit of hand. Bit of hand, bit of help. And this is now all... Ply we call. There we go. <coughs> Give him a quick shout. And uh, we'll collect on that one. There we go. So money is up to 7184, which is a darn sight better than uh, minus 15 or whatever I was the other day. Now, I'm going to save the game here, and the reason for that is it keeps freezing. Now, if it's the contracts on this map causing the map to freeze, it's froze. If I could, yeah, I'm moving things, nothing's happening. Something that I have installed is all the Xboxes just up the creek. <sighs> Darn, dag, nab it. <sighs> Bear with, I'll be back. Okay. We're back. That took about... 40 minutes of my life uh, all of the um, downloads that I downloaded between episodes um, I've uninstalled and uh, I managed to get the game to load now I was watching who was I watching? One of these awesome content creators who purchased that field down the bottom where the road, where that truck's just like around the corner. Mew! Field down there. Uh, oh, who was that? Oh, I don't remember. I'm really sorry, I'm useless in names. Whoever you are. Well, they had the, the small. Farmer Murphy. <laughs> Get there in the end. Got the small farm buildings pack, bunker silo, and all that good shenanigans. And apparently, when he left the multiplayer and returned to the multiplayer, blah blah blah, the sheds would randomly delete themselves. Now, I'd downloaded that pack, and then when I set the map up, I set it up in multiplayer. And the only thing that's changed between the last time and this time was the fact that I downloaded that pack. So I set it up in multiplayer, which is why I think, say, Milk That Hen's Farm. So I downloaded it in multiplayer. No, I didn't. Put my teeth in. I set the map up in multiplayer, and then I downloaded 
the map. The map downloaded the pack. Can you tell that it's very, very late and I'm very, very tired? <laughs> uh, I downloaded the pack in single player. But as soon as I uninstalled that pack, my game loaded. It was getting to like 65% and then stopping. I think there's something afoot with that pack, which is very annoying. Because I've, I've been having the freezing issues and the, 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 the glitching outs since I added that pack to this save game. Which is why I was saving like randomly. And I think that's the problem. <coughs> so whoever the modder is for that, I think uh, an update may be imminent. I'm going to repair this. <coughs> Have you seen the amount of peoples that are now taking part in this challenge? Have you? Have you? There's loads of us. It is absolutely mind-blowing. The amount of people that want to... Uh, there's... there's oh, uh, Ten at least. I was just watching before I started recording. FS Dave. Episode 3. Doing a fantastic job. Need to leave my comment. I haven't got that far. I haven't actually finished the episode. He's, he's literally just placed a shed. No spoilers because this will come out after his, right? Um, so that's what I've got to do, he's just place a shed filling up with stuff. Um, and he was saying the fact that all the channels that are taking part... Oh, I've changed my coat. Now, I like to put clothes on that I've actually got in real life, and my coat's green like this one, so... <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I digress. You only want my coat changed colour, because I don't have a like this coat, I have one of these. <laughs> Uh, I'm on new medication for my cough and I'm coughing more um, I think it's trying to clear my lungs of goo uh, yeah, it's up at the doctors today up at the chemist, back at the doctors, back at the chemist you know how it is, pharmacist, whatever you want to call it um, I digress again, I am miles away I think they made my brains go whoosh what was I saying? I know FS Dave and he was talking about the fact that all the content creators that are taking part in this challenge are small time um, content creators none of us uh, you know, we're no Dagoins we're no Mr. Silly Peeps we're all little people <coughs> you know two, three, four, five hundred subscribers I mean Rusty's out there on a limb you know <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, you've got Gaby Joy, you've got, obviously, FS Dave, you've got all these great people. <coughs> and then you've got the likes of me. <laughs> Which is, yeah, it is what it is. I need a drink, I'm going to start coughing my berries up, hang on. See, I could cut these bits out, but I don't. <coughs> I am a regular person. I need to cough, I need to breathe, I need to sniff, I need a drink. And I'm going to leave it in because, you know, I'm not going to pretend I don't fart because I do. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. Too much information. Anywho, back to farm sim. This field, all planted up, soybeans are growing, it needs rolling, which will take my expected yield up to about 64%, although most of it says 64, 63, so. I can live with that. Now, I have decided to create another field in here. Uh, I've done the outline, so we've sent the drone up. So you've got beans, and then more beans, and then we've got this. Which I think, I'm tempted, because I want to I wanna, I wanna do some sort of logging empire. So I want to own a plot of land, not necessarily this plot, um, more of a full rectangle, maybe this one? No, uh, this one's got those trees in it. Uh, what's the next plot down? This plot. Let's say, let's say this plot, let's say, let's say 26. Because there's nothing in 26, is there? It's just an empty field. Yeah. 
So on plot 26, and they just fill it with trees. Like the whole plot just blitz out a couple hundred thousand trees. <laughs> oh. And have some sort of full blown logging empire. Anywho, we have a contract under our belts, or two. Uh, and then over here. I could actually jump right down, can I? Where are we? Over here. We have. A pallet of your finest plex. 5,000 litres. A new pallet should be spawning at some point. What really confuses me is there's beams outside as decoration, yet you can't produce beams. <laughs> Go figure. So. <coughs> I'm thinking, create a field here and then plant like sorghum. <coughs> that way, I don't got to worry about picking up the straw. And then we can use the sorghum, a sorghum, and maybe get some chickens. Because uh, I don't have any livestock at the moment. This kitten is pretty much empty. So I've had to think about it and send the drone back up again. Down to here. You'll see, can you see that just there where my circle is, there's a tree. So down to here, and along like this area here, I've planted like oak trees. I'm going to decimate this area completely. The whole thing. I'm going to decimate the whole thing. And I'm going to put all those trees in here. And then this area, I'm going to decimate. And I'm going to put all those trees in here. You with me so far? And then the pines and the spruces that are in here, these little ones, you see where my circle is? I'm going to fill this area up with pines and spruce. Pines and spruce for the sawmill. Uh, a load of oak trees for chipper. <coughs> at some point, I will upgrade that one to either the platinum one, this one. Excuse me. To this can, which looks like it's been out in the sticks, or the one I use on Deerlands, which is this one. The problem is this one's massive, but I know exactly how it works because I played it before. You see? You see? At which point our Sorghum field is probably going to end up going because that's going to have to go in here. <laughs> Fits perfectly. Look at that, look. It's nice. You got the idea? So, these trees in here, those trees in there. That's the plan. And then, probably going to plant sorghum in here. That's where in a way. So we're going to leave a few of these trees here for now just to keep it tidy. <clears throat> um, if we missed the last episode, there's a, a pause and then I come back. Uh, in that gap it was a day and I had a Google. And these are going to take until like June, July next year to be small oak. So, you know, and these over here are going to take about 18 months to be anywhere near harvestable, which looks about that sort of size. No, this sort of size. <coughs> I mean, it's over two years to get to that size. So, you know. So what do we do now? Do we plough some field out or cut down some trees? See, these are the questions that keep me up at night. They don't, but they could do. Let's jump into here. Then we'll do a few up and downs on here. If I get the engine started. We'll do a few up and downs. This is a beast of a tractor. Absolute beast. The only thing lets it down is a lack of work lights on the, on the rear end. If it had rear work lights, this would be perfect. It's only got the front lights and they don't do a lot in the dark. Let's be honest. Well, they illuminate directly in front of you, but other than that, they're useless. 
<laughs> Let's be honest, they are useless. <laughs> so, that's where I'm at. We're up to about 15 minutes. <clears throat> I don't want to bore you with too much shenanigans. But I can finish all this off, off screen. I do have a question. I may do it before I've uh, got the responses. But what do you guys think about me uh, skipping through some months? <coughs> so we're in November, say. So do you need would you like to see me chop down a hundred trees and stick them into a chipper? Or would you rather I skip that month? And then rather than see me in December, see me in January when we're ready to sell. Do you see? Um, until these fields are ready to go, we don't need a harvester, there's no harvesting. I've got precision farming running, we're running soybeans, there's no fertilisation required. I'm not going to do any of that kind of stuff. I don't have a field scanner, so we can't scan the fields. You see? You see? So where do we stand? <coughs> uh, we're not going to have any trees to remove, because they'll be growing until July. Ish. <laughs> so do I just skip through some months until things are ready? Or do I bring you back in and say nothing's changed and then skip the month with you in? I mean there might be a contract I could do for old Bill. I don't know. I really don't know. Right. I think get down to the end here and then we'll cut down a few trees. Uh, I did have a quick shifty. If I chop the trees down into like six meter lengths ish. <clears throat> and then chuck them into the sawmill I get like four or five litres of wood more than chucking a whole tree in so what I did was I chopped down a tree I sold it well I didn't place it in the sawmill but I got a uh, thousand, twelve hundred litres of that and then I did the same thing again I cut it into rough six metre lengths or what I describe as rough six metre lengths Oh, I was going to do this, wasn't I? <coughs> Rough six metre lengths, and I got like 12 litres more. So I don't see the point. <sighs> Any use. Let's grab this can. There we go. And then, I need to move this trailer because it's in the way. Hopefully we can make a few quid from this um, wood chip enterprise. If not, we're kind of up a creek without a paddle. We need to make money from the trees, from the chips. Because our, our sawmill is pretty slow. Let's just dump that there for a second. We can take some of these wispy ones now, we can just carry those, can't we? There we go. It's not the most fun thing to watch, is it? A man running with a tree in his hand. And then... Oof, come. 
Yeah, I'm starting the furthest away for the simple fact being is the more tired I get, the closer I get. <laughs> I mean, I could chuck these on the road and then go back for them, but it seems kind of pointless. Or we take the train up to the sawmill, up to the sawmill, wait, take the trailer up to the store and um, convert it into a flatbed and just lay them all on there. Hello? No, no. I just don't know. I believe they're relatively high so I can see them. Although, all the small stumps that I left in the soybean field to my left, I didn't remove one tiny stump. I only removed the larger ones. <coughs> so, you know, is what it is. Get this one cut down. Two years worth of growth, and I'm going to decimate it in 30 seconds. Right, let's de twiggerify this. And then uh, get this dragged back to the, uh, the jipper rupper. Hopefully, we can make a pretty penny from this. We want to, I tell you. Otherwise, we're, uh, as I mentioned before, We're not going to do too well. i tell you what I did think about doing. Uh, I saw Rusty has placed what I was thinking of placing, which is the... Um, the firewood mod. Um, but there's no sell point for said firewood mod. But we are at the right time of year for firewood. Now, what I was thinking was, like, like the methane from the biogas. If you stick that on selling for the BGA, and there's no sell point, it still sells because it knows how much it should be. But you can't physically sell it manually. Does that make any sense to anybody? So. If I got that worrying on auto selling, like there's there's folks coming back to us to pick up firewood, and I don't have to go and sell it, that would be a bad shout. But it's forty grand, and am I going to make enough money in return to compensate for the forty grand to start with? And for second whiffs, what's the return I like? You know I mean, so I got to make forty grand plus to get our money back. So is it worth the effort at this particular minute in time? That and the fact that I would have to. Um, And the fact that I'd have to um, grab some sort of collectible to be able to afford it in the first place, or sell a couple of uh, pallets of planks. You see, I don't actually know <clears throat> I 
I'm glad that soybean's in first growth stage. <laughs> Keep driving over it. <laughs> yeah, we need to get all these in there. Leave this next to that one and I'll grab this tiny one first. I mean, they're not worth a lot of anything, even chip, they're rubbish. But it is what it is. And then we definitely need to plant some more trees. Should probably do that now, should we? In this in game day. So they've always got trees growing. Right. I'm going to grab the tractor, grab the tree planting thing, head up to the store, grab some trees, then we'll come down and plant them over there. Right. I shall see you guys in but a second. Ooh, welcome back. Yes, I did go cross country. <sighs> Not gonna lie about it. Um, so I've got for 60 pine in here, and then I've also gone for 60 uh, regular spruce. So this sort of size spruce. Um, I'm hoping I can plant all of them in this area. It'd be pretty cool. However. I noticed in the sales that this kit has popped up. 12 grand does lime and fur. That'd be ideal. So if you're still there, well I've done all this um, tree planting, I'm gonna sell the plank planks. I'm gonna sell the planks and then just randomly go and get it. If you're wondering why next time we've got one. We're also just going to wiggle these around in here. Hoping for the best. And I'll do the same with the uh, the new spruces as well. Just fill up this area. I'm hoping it's going to let me plant all of them. But you never know, do you? I'm on console after all. Well, in saying that... I am, you know, removing trees one at a time, so... Not sure, let's have a quick look actually. So... We have... Planted 131, and I've only cut down... 51. So I've planted more than I've removed. You see, because I am, you know, eco-friendly and all that. Plant a dance site more than I've taken. Which is pretty cool, right? <coughs> Anyways. I is going to crack on. Get these 120 trees in if I can. I mean, this could be the limitations of this particular plan of mine is the fact that I can't actually plant enough trees to sustain myself. But, you know. I've been on console as well, it's not a lot of option to, uh, to not, is it? I can't have the, the more trees mod, is what I'm trying to say. Because there isn't one for console. Anyway guys, I'm going to continue driving around like a nut, planting trees in this plot of land. And, uh, yeah, I shall see you next time. Off screen, I will obviously finish this. If I can get enough money, I'll buy the, the fertilizer spreader. If not, I won't. And then, um... I'll also plough that field out and chop a load of those trees down. Is the plan. 
as these are little trees, I'm wanting to squeeze some of them in here, might I? You know, plant a few in and amongst the stumps, as it were. We just going to be planting in here at some point anyway, so why not now? I'll run a few of the um, the spruces through here as well. About 15, I think it was. Right, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Each and every one of you, please take care, and I shall see you all in my next adventure. Cheers, guys. Oh, one left, one left, one left. Did all those. Alright, take care.